In this Code Art lesson, we're going to work with some Angry Birds and some programming fundamentals. But it's fun. Let's get going. This is Code Art and it's Angry Birds time. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, drag and drop. Yep, we got this part. So we have one block down here and we can use up to three. It looks like they provided it for us. So let me just doop and doop. So when I hit run, I should move forward twice. Bam. Yeah. Go, bird, go. Ooh, onward. All right. And drag, extra, move forward block. Okay. So boom and boom. Looks like we have an extra step in here. So I can just drag and click. I can also, instead of hit run, I can hit step to watch it go through my code. First line. Second line. And Kwapawi. Sometimes it helps to see step by step what your code's doing. Onward. All right, this pig is ruffling my feathers. There's one extra block that is going to cause the bird to crash. Ooh, we crash. Huh, <gasps> smack. Okay, so we got to get rid of it. Let's see here. So it looks like this one was the thing doing that. Boom. Let's see if it fixed it. Okay, left. Yep, move forward. Yep, and kwapow! We did it! <laughs> Trace the path that led me to, okay, avoid the TNT. Yeah, that looks bad. Okay, so, wow, I can use up to six blocks. I'll say move forward, I guess. And then what? And I can always check that I'm headed the right way. Yep, okay. And then a right turn, I think. Oh, notice the turn goes down. And then move forward. And then I would assume that's a left turn for my bird and a move forward. And remember, code always runs in order. So let's watch it how it goes. I'll move forward, and then I should turn right. Got it. Move forward. Turn left. Goodbye, pig. Okay. Follow the path to get the pig to the T. To get me to the T. -t, -t. Avoid the... Got it. Okay. So I'm going to go... One, it looks like two forward, maybe. And then a left. And then two forward. And notice we have used six out of six blocks. Let's see if that works. Boom and boom. Boom and boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Code always runs in order. Remember that. Let's keep going. All right. One out of nine blocks. So I have one block here. Oh, wow. This one looks difficult. Okay. So I can only use eight more. I'm just going to start throwing code down. Let's see. I'll go left maybe. And then uh, up. And then maybe a right. And then over. And again, make sure to test a lot. You can be wrong on code. I'm just throwing stuff down here. Boom, boom. Okay, that's looking good. So maybe two more move forwards. One and two. And then maybe a right, maybe. And then a forward. Let's see. Awesome. This code has a lot of bugs. You need to remove some blocks and add others. So we're using 13 out of 13. Let's just see what these bugs are. I'm going to hit run. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, right turn. Sure. Move forward. Yep. Oh, oh, that was not. Nope. Okay, so that looks like that could be a problem. And then turn left. That might work. And these move forward. But I think that only gets me to there. Let's see. And you can always step if you're not sure. Oh, did I hit that? Okay, so I still had an error there, but that's fine. I want to move forward to, and then what? It looks like turn right, and then move. Kwapow! Awesome. Onward. Keep calm and help me find the bad pig. One block. We can use up to nine. I'm just going to start throwing stuff down. It looks like a move forward. Hmm. And a right, and a forward. Let's test this out, see if I'm doing stuff good or well. Okay, something like this, turn. Now I want to show you something. That would work, right? That's successful. This is already green. Code always runs in order. So let's take a look here. Is there anything I am repeating that I could use this instead? Well, look, one, two, three, four, move forwards. We can actually use this repeat block. I'm going to put a four in here and drop it move forward. What this is going to do then, instead of having four blocks that are identical, 
it will move forward, turn right, and then it says, okay, everything in this pink mouth thing, I need a repeat. How many times? Four times. So move forward, zoop, move forward, zoop, that's twice, three times, four times. Once it's run four times, move forward, it drops below and turns right. So it's the same thing as having those four blocks. And now we accomplished our goal in seven blocks, and we had nine. We're fancy. Victory! Ooh, read through the code below. Now, keep in mind, once you click something and hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher, and you can't change it. So if I am your teacher, keep that abide. Otherwise, keep it abide in general. Let's think about this together. You really want to understand it. Read through the code. Yep, okay. So what's going to happen here? Uh, when run, I turn left. Okay, so if the bird's this way, that would be, I think, this way. Oh, and then I do it again. Okay, so once, twice, I think I'm facing this way. I move forward one, plop. And see, I'm just going through the code. I move forward one and I turn left again. So I think I'd face that way. And then move forward one, two, and three. Hmm. Well, that seems like we'd make it to the pig then. I just stepped through it. So uh, the bird, yep, let's give that a try. Quapow, yeah. And if you didn't get that, make sure you rewind a bit and check it out again. You really want to get these concepts. Now help me sneak up on the pig any way you want. Oh, we have a whole, ooh. All right, I'll speed this up and then talk about my attack at the end. Okay, so I'm thinking this is it, but notice I have some repeated code here. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna do what I showed you earlier. I'll put a three here, get rid of these two, and that will make me move forward three times. Well, wait a minute, then I turn right, okay. And then what? Well, then I move forward three times. So I'm gonna do the same thing there. Three, move forward three times, cool. And then finally I turn left, and then what? Move forward three times. However, there's one more thing I wanna show you. We can put repeats inside of repeats. So what happens when I hit run, the computer sees this pink mouth thing. It says, all right, I gotta do this line three times. So I'll move forward and you'll see it once and it's gonna go back around because I only did it once, twice, three times. Now we're done with it three times and we'll drop and turn right. And with them going, let's give it a shot. Victory.